Okay. So good afternoon, good morning, and uh, certainly good evening, uh, good afternoon, late afternoon for you, my dear. Uh, I'm here <laughs> with uh, Davide Miglio, the uh, owner and the founder of Etra in Florence. This magnificent property that I had to ch the chance to see twice already, of course, last year, and then I was recently at Duco. So Davide, I think today you want to take us live, give us a little tour of your beautiful property. Absolutely, yes, I'm uh, glad to do it. Uh, and uh, actually, right before we do a little tour, I'll tell you a few words about myself and uh, how the project started. So it is also important for you because uh, I'm actually full involved uh, in uh, the booking process as well as the customer journey. And uh, because of the uh, family business that we have in here, which is actually dedicated on uh, another type of business, uh, more in the fashion apparel. We have uh, a lot of connections uh, that can open some uh, secret doors of the city apart from the restaurant booking. So we can also have uh, the possibility to access to buildings and museums after opening hours, uh, go to visit some wineries and have like a wine tasting experience with noble families and so on. So it's a little bit a special product uh, that combines both the accommodation part, which is the part that I'm going to show you now, and the experience part, which is a little bit niche and not really accessible for many of the uh, people asking for certain type of experiences. Um, I'm moving now to the entrance uh, of Etra. So I will take you to a full walk around. Yeah. Um, turning the camera the other way around. Here we go. Okay, okay. All right. So I'm here at the entrance of Etra, uh, which actually has uh, two doors. Um, it's a common lobby. And those two doors are the entrance of uh, the two types of suites that we have that can be combined and create a third suite. So the one in front of me uh, is uh, the presidential suite. So the one bedroom suite, uh, it is um, uh, around 1,300 square feet. And then we have uh, the entrance of the family suite, which is a two bedroom suite uh, of a size of 1,400 square feet. And then uh, when those two are combined, so the one that I'm going to show you today, uh, actually the size is then uh, overall 2,007 uh, uh, 100 uh, square feet. Davide, um, can you show us yeah. the back? Can you show us the door, the main door before? Ah, yes. Of your, voilà. So you. you see, it's like your own private residence. Your the yes. door are within already, huh? kind of. Yeah, I'm already within. Yeah. And then I'm entering uh, into uh, the first living room of the presidential suite. Where you can uh, see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, so everything that you see here uh, has been um, uh, provided in collaboration with the top tier design Italian brands. Uh, just to mention a few names, uh, the sofa that you're seeing here has been designed by uh, Piero Lissoni um, and uh, Dominic knows the value of it. And so I'm not going to mention it, but uh, we wanted people and guests to experience what uh, Italian design really means. Yeah, um, the living room is actually uh, connected to a hidden kitchen. So we have in front of us uh, a master block, a black block that slides out and all of a sudden becomes a kitchen. A kitchen that we normally use uh, uh, when we do private chef experiences. Uh, we have uh, a very nice partner that um, uh, is a one-star Michelin chef. He's called uh, Daniele Zazzari. Uh, he's known uh, as one of the greatest uh, uh, chef for uh, seafood in Tuscany. And he is uh, more than happy to come and, uh, does, and do the private cooking for, uh, for our guests. Um, that kitchen actually, apart from being a kitchen, becomes also a table. So when the chef cooks, actually the guests are in front of him and uh, they can enjoy the uh, live experience from the chef. In this part of the living room, we have played with some uh, sensational effects. So what you're seeing now is a water vapor fireplace. So when uh, uh, families come in uh, and they have kids uh, um, running around, uh, they do not get hurt uh, uh, by touching the, the fireplace. 
uh, other nice effects are the TVs that come out uh, from the walls, such as uh, this one uh, in uh, this location. And then we have other surprise in the rest of the property. Um, in the back of the kitchen, uh, we have uh, a lot of things hidden, uh, starting from um, a very prestigious uh, wine cellar, which is in there, uh, where we have uh, a very uh, good selection of wines, uh, uh, starting from a French one, such as uh, the uh, Romanée Saint Vivant. But then uh, uh, we have also Super Tuscan and other very important labels. Uh, on the other sides, we have um, the tea station and the coffee station with a little bit of a mini bar. Um, and then we have an important thing, which is uh, the accessibility to the in-room service from the restaurant at the ground floor of this place. We are actually at um, in uh, a private uh, residential building where we cover the entire first floor. But at the ground floor, we have a beautiful restaurant called the Sophia Lorraine. And they do like a part from the breakfast, which is an amenity that Dominic includes uh, as part of the booking. Uh, they do the in-room service uh, from breakfast until late evening. Um, moving into uh, the master bedroom, which is seamlessly connected with the living room, we, we access here to uh, this beautiful room. Uh, now we have a dressing with linen, uh, which uh, were tailor-made uh, for us. And uh, it's not about uh, only uh, design, but it is also about comfort. So our mattresses uh, have inside uh, natural fibers and cashmere. Yeah, so they are very, very comfortable. And guests, uh, we had many positive feedbacks from the guests. Um, from the master bedroom, we actually access to uh, what we call the service bathroom, which is super big. Uh, so the service bathroom uh, has a size of 25 square uh, meter, uh, which in square feet, Dominic, help me out, I believe is uh, usually uh, at the zero. to 170. Yeah, 12. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's say 270 square feet, yeah? So it's actually like a size of uh, uh, a standard uh, bedroom in uh, a good hotel, yeah? Um, then we have a sliding door, which uh, hides uh, the toilet in here. And the reason why we have played with those effects is that the architect said that uh, uh, she didn't want guests to see anything that the eyes don't want to see. So uh, she basically uh, put all those uh, little stuff hidden from the eyes. And then we access from uh, the master bathroom to the walk-in closet, which is actually uh, very big, yeah? Um, moving from the presidential suite, we go straight into the family suite. Uh, apart from uh, the main entrance door, which is this one, when the two suites are closed uh, between each other, we have uh, a slide, two sliding doors, like this one that I'm showing, uh, that separate the two suites, and then uh, those two are basically separated uh, from uh, the rest of the property. Otherwise, uh, when uh, the sign, what we call the signature suite, so the three bedroom suite. Uh, is uh, is booked, then it's seamlessly connected between the two. And now I'm entering into the family oh, suite. Hey, can you show that basically if the clients are only booking the presidential, you have like a wall coming in? Huh? Because yes. Because you're not booking, you want, yeah, the first one. It really looks like a wall. So yeah. nobody would know that there is actually something behind. Huh? Yes, exactly. So it's not like a, a normal door, but it's actually it's a very high uh, ceiling door. So it's almost uh, three meters and a half. So it's very, very high. Yeah. And also, um, you do not, uh, when somebody booked only the presidential, you yes. do not take any booking for the family. No, so, no, we no. Not. We only deal with uh, one guest at a time. At the and... Time. Uh, yeah, because of the privacy that uh, we normally guarantee to the guest, uh, we want to do work this way. Yeah, yeah so it, it remains a private residence, whatever you want. Exactly. For, exactly. For three bedrooms, you're actually only on your own on that floor. 
All right. So uh, from here, uh, let's let's uh, let's jump in uh, to the to the lobby again. So I do the entrance from the from this part of the of the family suite. Yeah. So I enter from the main door of the family suite. Here we are. Which is good. Then then I... you have, uh, when you have kids or grown up kids and they just or teenager and they want to yes. have on life, they don't have to go through their parents' uh, main area. Exactly. Yeah. They just go the on their parents own. can separate at night, can have their own privacy, yeah. and then uh, kids with a nanny can stay on the other side, for instance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, then I'll take you to the other living room which has uh, a very nice dining table, again, coming from uh, the Padova. And this giant mirror that actually hides, uh, which is now on uh, a TV, yeah? And there is also like a water fireplace uh, in the bottom part. Um, those, this living room actually has uh, two balconies that are uh, overlooking uh, one of the greatest uh, thing in Florence, which is the Duomo di Siti. Let me take you out uh, to see it. Here iconic, we go. I call it the iconic view. Huh? When we were at Duco, everybody coming to visit, we had a picture taken there. So I think in that, that picture, balcony picture is now famous. Wow, incredible, huh? Ah, yes. Yeah. And ah, the, yes. Advantage, the advantage- It's, it's a sort of trademark, yeah. David, the advantage not to be in the square itself, you don't have all those people below your your window, you know, like they. Ah, yes. So the, the the renovation that we have done is very soundproof. However, being a little bit far away from the main square ensure you, let's say, a very good night. Yeah, when they when they want to go and take some rest. Yeah. Um. Okay. From the living room, I go back to the main entrance where we have on the left side, what we call the butler kitchen, which is a full kitchen that uh, is actually uh, the main kitchen when the family suite is taken only, or it becomes like a service kitchen when uh, the two suites are, uh, are combined, yeah? Um, then we have uh, the first bedroom, which is uh, a king bedroom, as you see, like uh, all the bedrooms uh, have a different style inside. However, we kept uh, those kind of like uh, soft colors to keep the atmosphere very, very, very relaxing. Um, this bed actually uh, has the possibility to uh, be split into twins. And uh, now we are uh, getting into the bathroom. Uh, where we have a skylight uh, that works with uh, uh, with the sunlight. However, now it's getting dark in Italy, so uh, then uh, the movement of the sun uh, has gone down already. Uh, but during the day, is an artificial skylight that makes you feel like uh, having uh, uh, a natural light inside. So those lamps are used to create the photosynthesis, for instance. The, uh, and then you didn't, know, you didn't show the TV. There is a TV. Ah, yes, of course. We, we do have like uh, every room has a, a TV. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the Sonos sound system uh, and we have, of course, the air conditioning and heating system that can be separate. It is actually separated for each room. Yeah. So everyone can uh, have uh, the preferred temperature. And, from the, and, and then, the window, uh, from the window on that side, you can see Piazza della Repubblica on your right side. Huh? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So location, location, one side you yeah, have the, the other one Piazza della Repubblica, it's amazing. Yeah, I always tell Dominic that we are five walking this a uh, five minute walking distance from anywhere, and this is actually true. Yeah, Dominic experienced uh, by yourself, so she can uh, she can tell you that I'm not lying. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is uh, the, the 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 last bedroom, which is uh, a, a master bedroom again, a different uh, style. Now, different dressing, we're using uh, per cale 600 uh, or 1,000 thread count on our beds. So very, very, uh, let's say, precious uh, linens. And uh, uh, of course, even this room has uh, a part from the closet, which is uh, in here, um, has, um, let's say, its own uh, bathroom and suite, which is uh, this one. A bathroom that in this case, uh, has uh, the, the chromotherapy inside. So when guests want to have like a, their own uh, 
mini spa experience. Uh, they can have it in here. If they want to do more uh, spa services, we of course collaborate with uh, partners uh, nearby and uh, we offer them uh, the possibility either to access to the gym, uh, which is a uh, hundred meter walking distance from where we are, or we can go to a spa, uh, which is again uh, uh, nearby the, the, the gym, or we can actually uh, send them to, uh, to uh, uh, an outdoor pool, where we have a partner. I took Dominic uh, out for dinner to that partner. And uh, apart from the pool, uh, they are very known for oil tasting experiences. Yeah, so they own they own, and they have uh, uh, more than 100 labels of olive oil. And so the dining experience uh, together with the outdoor pool, which is very elegant, very intimate, uh, is a very nice one. Yeah. Here we go. So I think... Uh, I uh, completed the, the tour and uh, I'm open uh, for, for questions. Yeah, so the last thing that I wanted to mention is the part of the experiences. Um, um, initially, I was saying that we are known in Florence from a different type of business. Um, we are known for our brand, which is Eredi Chiarini, is a, a fashion uh, brand dedicated for gentlemen only. And we do like very high-end uh, bespoke tailoring, but also uh, made in Italy uh, casual attire. And because of that, we have a very good relationship with anybody in the city. Yeah. So uh, there was uh, a guest uh, uh, in uh, March that stayed with us two nights and they wanted to go to see the uh, restoration museum. So where you do like uh, see the how the people uh, renovate the paintings uh, that are then uh, uh, exposed at the uh, Uffizi museums. And we are just like a WhatsApp away for uh, reserving those type of experiences. Yeah, so everything is very familiar, very intimate. And because we are directly involved, we ensure a different type of experience for the guest uh, compared to other type of experience where they just uh, walk around in the city and uh, uh, they don't know uh, how what to discover and how let's say the authenticity of Italian series. Yeah. All right. I can't hear you, Dominic. Dominic, I can't hear you. I have to unmute okay. myself. <laughs> okay. Here so, yes, we go. I'm saying the transfer are included as part of our amenities. Huh? Yes. Transfer and breakfast are included. Uh, then, uh, of course, the maid service is included. Uh, we can actually offer the possibility for a turndown service. Uh, sometimes guests like it, sometimes they don't. So depending on what guests uh, like, we can offer that too. Um, and uh, then, uh, of course, we have uh, uh, our concierge on call, which is uh, directly handled by me. And then uh, uh, all the assistance is handled by our operation manager. And so in case guests have any needs over the day, uh, the team come and uh, provide, uh, for instance, I don't know, or, uh, any uh, or let's say storage for the fridge or whatever. Yep. I'm seeing a question from Helen. Hi, Helen. Um, uh, the best way to book and make a reservation is uh, with me or via Dominic. Either way is absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. Your commission is uh, 12%. And, Absolutely. Uh, and then David, as I said, throw in the complimentary uh, transfers and the daily breakfast for your clients. Huh? Yes. So transfers are round trip. Yeah. So including uh, the way they come and the way they go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, is uh, pricing, pricing point. Uh, I didn't mention it, but uh, I think is uh, interesting. Uh, so I give you like uh, the high season prices. Uh, high season for us means um, from April until end of September, and uh, uh, the uh, the presidential suite uh, is a two thousand and two hundred euro per night, including the amenities that Dominic mentioned. Uh, then the family suite is 2,900 euro per night. And uh, the signature suite, so the combination of the two, is uh, 4,900 euro per night. Yeah. In low season, so meaning from October, November, which are 
to to me one of the greatest time to book as well because Florence is more calm the weather is nice and if it is like uh, last year it is a marvelous month so sunny with the the colors of autumn in Tuscany is uh, absolutely beautiful and the signature suite during that time is uh, 3,900 euro per night mm -hmm. thank you Davide and so you still have uh, some space for the summer huh so, ah yes yeah. so we have uh, june which is uh, completely gone but uh, we do have uh, uh, very good uh, availabilities uh, uh, july august and september uh, september actually half of september is better uh, but yes mm -hmm. we have another question i see no, so beautiful thank you vita thank you vita Thank you. Yeah. Which side of the hotel has balcony rooms? Okay, so uh, the presidential part has only windows. However, if you open the windows and uh, you look outside, you will see the Duomo. Uh, the family suite um, has uh, the two balconies. So um, when you book like the family suite, you have uh, the two balconies overlooking the Duomo. And uh, of course, when you book the signature, as you have the two combined, you have the two balconies included, yeah? If you're passing by Florence, huh, and if it's available, please let us know, because I think it's, so. well, now you had a virtual visit, for a live visit, but it's also good for you maybe to meet Davide and see the place by yourself. Davide Absolutely. could not transfer. My favorite are the blankets. I mean, the <laughs> blankets are like no cashmere you ever, ever touch in your life. Davide <laughs> mentioned it. I would if I was doing the visit. Because I'm crazy about those blankets. And um, yeah, it's full of little details that you can't just see. Just uh, you have to touch it yourself almost. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hello. So thank, thank you. you Thank you, Sunny. Thank you, everybody. For joining us. I do not see any more questions. Davide will do, will send you the recording. We'll send you all the information, the list of uh, very special uh, activities that you uh, uh, propose. I know that some of your activities are so secret that you actually, the clients have to sign. Yeah, we account. had to sign uh, some uh, NDAs because uh, some of the noble families uh, did not want to, to share the possibility to open up, uh, for instance, uh, their own and private uh, uh, wine and estate. But uh, we know them, we are friends with them. So uh, it's more an intimate experience than, uh, let's say, an off the shelf experience. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. So I'm. Um... I hope everybody loves it as much as I do because it's really a really spectacular uh, pro and property and also because of all this hotel-like service that you provide and with a look, yeah. it's uh, totally spectacular. Huh? Hello. All Perfecto. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everybody. everybody. For joining us. Have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye. Huh? Bye-bye to all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.